Hello, I am just going to do a quick update <clears throat> for you guys on our battery system and where things are at. So unfortunately, in one of the packs, we had the Dally BMS actually expire. It died. I contacted them. I purchased it through Amazon. They refunded me for the BMS, and I just simply ordered another Dally BMS for the 16S. But that's where things become problematic. If you guys have watched recently the off-grid garage, uh, he has been talking about, Andy there has been talking about the fact that the BMS doesn't actually balance all that well. And that's become a major problem for these battery cells from battery hookup. They are not exactly perfectly in balance, which sounds like a travesty and a big problem. But the reality is it's really not. Uh, so what I've done now at the moment, I'll walk you through some of the things I've been messing with. So before I did any of this, and yes, this is a balancer sitting here plugged into one of the batteries, and I'll explain the leads I have here. But basically what has happened is before I even messed with any of this, and before the Dally BMS died, it was in one of the packs, I've since replaced it. Um, what I had done is run a capacity check across the board on the system as a whole. So I have four 100 amp hour 48 volt batteries here. Technically each one has their own BMS. And I found that when I was testing from a peak charge voltage of about 54.4 for the pack uh, down to about 49 to 48 volts, I believe about 48 volts, uh, I was finding a, over 390 amp hours total, which would be somewhere in the ballpark of like 97.5% of the rated capacity of the packs, even with imbalances here and there. Now I know that they should be testing over about five to 8% over. However, still like 95, 94% capacity I'm getting, and I'm only running them to from 54.4 down to like 48 or 49 volts. It's hard to really complain about. It's basically, all the capacity I'd want to use anyway, so I'm not really seeing any real problem with the small imbalance, and I don't want to call it small. So realistically, I have a couple cells in each pack that basically seem to um, run away near the top. That's fine. I think that's kind of must be normal to some degree, so that's that I'm getting to where I'm getting like 3.5 three eight um volts but then i'll have one that's running away up at like 3.5 volts but there's not much difference there um, once i hit 3.4 for most of the cells it seems like the one that runs away isn't changing very much however i still would like to correct that so at the moment what i've done is all the battery packs were charged up uh, to what i consider full to where the bms was cutting off the charge and I took the other battery that this balancer had not been running on, which is this one, which had the greatest imbalance at, at peak, like I want to say 0.2 uh, volt difference, which is a lot um, for the pack. I, I don't think, I think there might be more usable capacity, but there really can't be because I'm already getting 390 plus out of the pack. I don't, there's not a whole lot to gain, I don't feel like. So... I don't really understand that completely. If you guys have thoughts or ideas on that, please comment below. I know I could get like 5% over capacity, but still that's not a big difference. Um, regardless, so what I did is I got this balancer. Um, and this is not the HELOC one. This is the less expensive one you can get on Amazon. I've now since ordered the HELOC one, although they look identical. So I don't know what there will be any difference to be honest with you. So the HELOC one is coming, it'll be here tomorrow, but as far as I can tell, this doesn't do anything. It does absolutely nothing. I've not been able to prove it's balancing anything. So this pack was charged all the way up to where there's a 0.2 volt difference between the low and the high cell. So if this was going to work, it should be working now. It's been plugged in now for about, uh, I wanna say four hours into this battery pack. Um, there's some temperature. That's not much there. This side, there's some. Not much. So it makes me think that it's doing something. But I have no way to really prove that. It's not really hot. At all. 
So I don't know. I have no way to really prove it's doing anything. I don't think it's doing anything. I think it's just getting hot. I don't know what it's doing. I can't prove it. I can't even check the amperage in these leads. I have my amp meter right here. I don't get anything. I don't see anything. Testing it in the other pack and then having charged it up, it seems like it may have done something, but I don't know. So this is charged all the way to full. Um, I'm going to check on this again later today and I'll make a video update at some point, probably tomorrow. Give everyone an update on what's going on. Um, but just so you know, so what I did here, so this is the Dally Balancer um, leads that are plugged in. And I needed a way to get this to connect to the Dally leads. I didn't really want to run secondary leads. Just want to run the balance. By the way, this pack is disconnected. Um, you can see that the bottom circuit breaker is open. This one is disconnected from the system. So it's not like it's the BMS is disconnected. It's disconnected from everything. So anyway, I made these leads. Um, and all I did was... I got a bunch of these um, pin guys, I guess. I don't know what the right word is for it. Um, but I got these things. If I can get it to focus. Or not. Let's try this. So these little pin guys. And I took off this plastic thing here. And then I just simply did some heat, heat wrap, heat shrink wrap around them. And then I was able to get this to insert uh, directly into the, um, the plug. It actually works. So that's how I accomplish this. I'm having to rerun everything. And obviously just took off the ends and used some of these heat shrink solder ends um, to connect it together. Which seems to work fine. I mean, obviously the gauge is a little bit different. I know that supposedly this can push a lot of current. I, again, I don't think this is doing anything. So that's why I ordered the other one. But I think that's the same thing. So we'll find out if there's a difference. Um, they, I'm probably going to return this one and get the other. And when the other one comes in and proves me wrong or right, we'll see what happens. Um, anyway, just a just a quick update on how this is all going. I, you know, I I want to say that balancing is really important. I haven't been able to prove it matters that much, to be honest, because it's, again, if I'm getting like 95% of rated capacity and I'm not pushing it to the extremes. It's pretty much fine. I don't want to wear out the cells and pushing one cell too high versus then too low or anything like that. So I don't really want to be doing that either. I understand that can be a concern. But at the moment, I'm trying to see what I can do. But again, the benefit here is that I have multiple battery packs. So I can work on one, get it right, and then work on another one, get it right. I don't have to have everything up or down all the time. So if I had a failure, had a problem, um, I have redundancy here. Um, and that's a pretty good thing. So anyway, if you have questions, comments, or ideas, uh, leave them down below. Again, that should be working. There's a 0 0.2 volt difference between the high and low battery module in here. It's supposed to be balancing for sure, and this is at the top of the pack where the BMS cut it off due to high voltage, so it should definitely be doing something. Uh, I'll update you guys soon. Again, appreciate the watch. Give me a thumbs up and a subscribe. I'd appreciate it. And have yourself a good day. I'll see you in the future. Bye.